If you want to make big profits reselling jewelry, then watch this video. Right now I'm headed to LA to buy my first ever luxury watch, but I couldn't just buy a watch for me and not get my wife something. So I'm gonna buy her a brand new wedding ring since the one she's been wearing we got for free nine years ago. We were pretty broke back then. But to do this, we're gonna meet with my friend Gabe from Happy Jewelers. Gabe has sold many influencers, athletes, celebrities, different pieces. And he's gonna show us how you can do it as a side hustle. What's up, man? What's Good up, to bro? see you. Thank you for coming in, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us. Of uh, I want to learn about the industry as a whole, but I got to see my watch first. The moment you've been waiting for, man. <laughs> You're excited, huh? Dude, I flew in for this. Yes, sir. Yes, you did. There it is. Beautiful box. Audemars Piguet. Bro. Look at this. This is much better in person. Like I've been looking to get this watch for a year. Yeah. And that's when you and I connected about exactly. a year ago. And you're like, dude, it just, I don't have it right now. I'll let you know if I do. The moment I received it, I FaceTimed you, remember? Yep. Yeah. You, and you had Jay Cutler here. Yeah, exactly. Jay was here too, actually. So Jay was, when he saw the watch, he's like, hey, this is mine. I said, no, Jay, yeah. you're not getting this. It's for Ryan. I'm sorry, I, 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 and I hate to say no to Jay too. He's been a very good, loyal customer for a long time. If you know who Jay Cutler is, he is an enormous bodybuilder. Yeah. Who are some other famous people you sold to? We, we have a lot of uh, MLB guys that come through here. We have sold uh, stuff to uh, Clayton Kershaw, a lot of the Dodger guys like Kiki Hernandez, uh, Jock Peterson. I played against uh, a lot of those guys when I was playing. Oh yeah, you played with uh, our, our good mutual friend uh, Taylor too, yeah, right? Taylor yeah, Taylor Cole, he connected us. Uh, yeah, he, which, yeah, we got a, yeah, Taylor's a great guy, so. Yeah. A lot of the Angels, uh, you know, a lot of uh, NFL guys uh, like Chase Young. They're all coming here. They, they they're all coming here, yeah. so. Well, you know, this watch matches my shoes now. So <laughs> I just picked up these shoes. Uh, actually, yesterday I was filming with a sneaker vintage clothing reseller. Yeah. And uh, I, every time I go to film one of these videos, I end up buying something. Exactly. But this was a lot more expensive than these shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you got Mindy something too. Yes, I do. Let's see that. Yeah, let's check it out. Are you ready? I'm excited. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> It turned out beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Beautiful oval shape. Oh yeah. Four carat. It's custom made. Exact. Actually, me and Mindy uh, custom designed this together. What I like about thin bands like this is your stone just pops out. There's yeah. nothing to take away from it. Oh, it's yeah. very elegant and feminine. We're coming up on our nine year anniversary and she's been wearing the same ring from nine years ago, which I got for free because <laughs> no we couldn't afford a ring. <laughs> yeah. We were pretty broke when we got married. So at this location, you guys will buy, sell, trade. You know, yeah. I saw some people coming in here to sell their stuff to you guys. Right. They were exchanging it for other things exactly. and doing trades. But then you were also telling me you guys manufacture jewelry too. Yeah, we manufacture everything that we have. We make it in our own factory. We make A to Z and we start everything from scratch. We make a lot of stuff uh, inside here too, in the back. Yeah, let's go check out the back. I want to see what you're doing. Yeah, let me show you. Actually, this morning I was just sorting out diamonds. So we just got these uh, loose stones in from overseas. We buy directly from side holders. Wow. How much is this worth right here? There's about $100,000 of uh, diamonds in there. Dude, this is crazy to me that there's just, this is 100,000 bucks, it's just chilling here. Yeah. Like the level of trust has gotta be pretty high. It has to be, I mean, like, if not, you, I'll lose my mind. So let's talk about the business as a whole. You right. know, you have the sales floor out there, which I right. just saw. The salespeople sell jewelry. Right. Like what happens back here? Once the order gets processed there, there's so much that goes into like making the piece. Right. So to make the dream ring, they take, they pick out like four to five pieces out of the showcase. I want the side view of this, the top of this, the side of that. Like, you know, I want it, I want the prong to be white gold, the bottom to be yellow gold. So, you know, th there's so much details that goes in the business. Yeah. And I'll say Mindy's ring, I just told you guys about like four or five days ago. Right. And she's already got it. Like she customized that from scratch. Like she sent you guys the diamond she wanted, the colors, just everything. You already made it. 
our orders do take like longer, Ryan. I just made an exception for you <laughs> because I knew you wanted to pick up your watch. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, Mindy couldn't have walked out with nothing. No so we just made a went on overtime. Exactly. We yeah. we made it very like fast for you. I guys. appreciate but that. But it is like when it comes down to stuff like that, like mm. since we own our own factory, like we don't go over like middleman to get the ring. We just make everything in the house. So we could make something in three to four days if it comes down to it. Well, you have that flexibility and also too, since you save so much cost right here, you can pass those savings to the customer. I'm not saying it on camera what I paid for this stuff, but it was a significantly better deal than shopping around everywhere else. I know that for a fact. And it's only because you guys do so much in house and you're selling such high volume, you guys can take lower margins. Yeah. So that saving goes straight to the customer. It's exactly. awesome. So let's see the back room and how all this actually plays out. Right. We have two guys that are full-time at all times inside the store yeah. that set diamonds. 30 years ago, they didn't have microscopes. All those little tiny stones, okay, there are still some diamond setters that are setting, pave setting without a microscope, but the job doesn't come out, come out as clean. The diamonds have to be set like perfectly. Yeah. If you don't set it under a microscope, you know, you'll get like one stone that's set a little bit lower, one stone a little bit higher. Right. So this is a ring that another jeweler made. This is probably like just, you know, setting under a, just a regular, not a microscope. Okay. If you get closer to it, if you look at the ring, if you look at the workmanship and the craftsmanship, it doesn't look very clean. If you look at the work, you could definitely see up close too. There's too much metal yeah, on this. Yeah, exactly. Like, and it's not compared showing to the this, diamonds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're going to pop her center stone, put it in the new setting right here because she wanted to update it and get it done by Happy Jewelers. Look at it. There's not, like, one single space where you see metal. This is really cool back here. Yeah. I want to hear more about the buy-sell trade side. All right. How Sounds you guys good. do that. Yeah, I'll show you. So explain to me how you're getting all of this product because I'm looking here, and you got pretty much the exact Rolex I'm wearing, but like 10 of them. Yeah, you want to <laughs> sell me yours? What would you pay me for mine? Uh, so yours is the non-ceramic Rolex uh, with a date. I'll pay you uh, around 10,000. 10,000? Yep. So what would you end up selling it for? Well, I'll put it in the case for 11,000. 11,000. 11,000. But it, the 300 to $400 of it will go to my you know, watchmaker when he services it and cleans cost. it up. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, there's not a lot of money in profit-wise with this, but this attracts everybody in here. You, they end up doing what I just did, where I bought that watch, exactly. and then I ended up getting my wife a ring, exactly. and then it'll lead to however many more purchases too. So do you get a lot of watch, I guess, flippers who will sell direct to you? Because you're already paying a really high price for the watch. We pay top dollar for watches just to get the inventory in the store. Right. You know, so yeah, we have a bunch of flippers that, that in town, out of town, out of state that will buy, that will sell us watches every day. That's crazy. So could somebody sell one of your watches and still make money? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, somebody could buy a watch and flip it and make money on it for yeah. sure. So you guys basically do it all with resale. I mean, you'll buy it from them, you'll sell to other guys, you'll do a trade. Right. But how would somebody who's just getting started in watch collecting or if they want to flip watches or jewelry, where would they usually find inventory? They would find it at, with us because yeah. we carry literally every model. I mean, as you could see, the Submariners we have, there's about maybe 15 to 20. Yeah. If, if you want to get into watch flipping, I would definitely start with a Rolex. Yeah. You know, because everybody knows Rolex and yeah. like, you know, you could always get out of it, you know. Right. What do you think about them going on like Craigslist or OfferUp and trying to buy it? you know, for eight grand or nine grand and sell it to you for 10. Yeah, that's how a lot of the people that are in the business today started with like Craigslist. Yeah. They used to buy watches from people that needed, you know, the money and they would, you know, flip it to like dealers like us. Yeah. And they made a huge business out of it too. Right. So the weird thing I've learned as I studied watches is that you can't just go and buy a watch from AP or Rolex or these guys. They make you build a relationship. I know, isn't that crazy? You yeah. can't even try on a watch. Yeah. So you have to like you have to go to like dealers like Happy Jewelers. Like a lot of the inventory that we get is like from collectors. 
You have we, more inventory than Rolex does. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go try on a Rolex watch, you can't even try it on. So people come in here. Yeah. But we pay over retail just to get the watch in. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, for example, um, this AP right here, the retail on this watch is uh, 35000 We paid just to get it in 45000 Wow. I paid $10,000 over retail just to get the watch in. Wow. Why, why you got to show me this one, man? Yeah. I just that's got nice a beautiful one, one and now... It's a good investment, <laughs> but, but, but that's the beauty. Even if you buy it over retail, right? You're, there's, they keep on going up. Like, yeah. Well, in my mind, I'm thinking if you buy a watch and you wear it, it's worth less. Yeah. But it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that at all with the yeah. uh, high-end watches. If you buy the right, uh, right watch, definitely it will only go up in value. Well, to me, looking at it, if I wanted to flip watches and resell. I would first try to get in directly with the manufacturer because yeah. you can easily flip it and make money. Exactly. This guy Easy. just got it, made ten grand. Exactly. Boom. But for him to like get the swatch, he he had to like you know buy like so many other watches that are like yeah. non-sellable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like he'll take a loss on some of the smaller stuff that are very high-end retail. Yeah. And he'll sell those. He'll take a loss on those, but he'll on make the good his money. stuff. What would somebody who say got a couple thousand bucks, what's a good watch for them to try and go like flip and a good investment and stuff? Couple thousand is not gonna get you much, Ryan. Yeah. Okay. In order for you to get into a watch flipping business, you definitely have to buy a Rolex. You have to have at least like $10,000. Yeah. Buy it right and then uh, sit on it for a little bit and try to flip it. Yeah. Well, and it seems too that Rolex would be the most affordable. There's the highest supply of them. You know, you can yeah. get inventory. It's not like, the APs, you have way more Rolexes than APs. Exactly. Take this watch for example. It's a Rolex Daytona, the hardest Rolex to get. It's a Panda dial. That's like the white dial with the black ceramic. It's their newest Rolexes. The retail is like 12 to 13 grand. We pay around 35 to 36,000 just to get it in, just to have the inventory, to have the item here. Wow. You walk into Rolex, they will tell you, you have to buy like, you know, 10 other Rolexes. To get this one. And wait in like, after you buy 10 other Rolexes, you gotta get on a waiting list for five to six years just to get this watch. Insane. Insane, yeah. But that's why it goes for so much more. Exactly, and before COVID, this watch was uh, around 21, 22,000. Today, it's gone anywhere from 35 to 40,000, depending wow. on the condition or whatever it is. That's insane. So my question for you is, how are you selling your inventory? Because like I am in Las Vegas and I flew yeah. down to get it. You would have shipped it to me, but I'm like, hey, we got to film. Exactly. You know, yeah, are, are you getting a lot of buyers from everywhere? Yeah, we're getting a lot of buyers from worldwide. People reach out to us because of our inventory that we have on watches and high-end jewelry and high-end loose stones. Yeah. People reach out from everywhere. Well, I would definitely say, guys, if you're looking for any type of jewelry, Gabe has the most inventory that I've seen, and I've been looking for that watch for a year, and you were the first guy to get it. Oh. So, when I'm telling you, if you want something rare, something at a great price, he's the only person I've found that does both. And you guys know, I get the best deals. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for the watch. Welcome, Thank man. you for the ring. I'll definitely be buying more from you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you for coming by. It's an honor to have you.